Brock Lesnar and Sable spotted together in rare public appearance. Real-life heat between WWE Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch explained. Huge bump in overnight ratings SmackDown. Trish Stratus takes a selfie with Theory at WWE Live event. Sami Zayn betrays Roman Reigns. Let's jump right into our first story. Real-life heat between WWE Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch explained. Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch are two of the greatest WWE superstars of the current generation. Over the years, they have featured in multiple high-profile rivalries and exchanged numerous wins in the process. The two used to be best friends, but their relationship has seemingly reached an all-time low in recent years. This video will give a detailed explanation of the real-life heat between WWE's Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch. In October 2021, Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair were involved in a controversial segment on an episode of SmackDown. The two were supposed to exchange their titles as they were drafted to different brands as champion. Flair was supposed to play cat and mouse with the title before eventually handing it over to Lynch. Unexpectedly, the Queen dropped the title on the mat during the segment. PW Insider later reported that the two stars were involved in a heated confrontation backstage after the incident. We are told at that point, there was a confrontation between Lynch and Flair over Flair allegedly disrespecting Lynch by trying to make her look bad. As one source stated, during the segment and there were loud words between the two. At Survivor Series 2021, the two competed in a hard-hitting battle as WWE seemingly looked to take advantage of their real life heat. Becky Lynch came out on top, after which she cut an emotional promo regarding her friendship with the Queen. In a November 2021 interview with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour, Lynch claimed that Flair was jealous of her success in WWE, which ultimately led to the fall of their long-time friendship. We don't like each other, we used to, so I'm sure she would give you a different side and I'll give you my side. Is that, my star was rising, we were best friends and it all worked. When she was on top and I was below and then we could all see the way things were going in 2019. She added, like people were really rallying behind me and this turn would turn me into a different league and she couldn't take that and has never been able to take it, said Becky Lynch. However, Charlotte Flair recently clarified the situation surrounding the former women's champion. The Queen recently appeared on an episode of Stone Cold Steve Austin's Broken Skull Session, where she discussed discussed her relationship with the man. She stated they are just two women who want to be at the top in WWE. You have two women that want to be the best. Like, there's no other way to put it. I want to be the best, she wants to be the best. And, natural courses of life, she got married, had a baby. I met Manny on the road, maybe we were each other's crushes at one point. But now it's she wants to be the best, I want to be the best. You have two alphas who don't see eye to eye, said Flair. While speaking about the controversial segment mentioned, she claimed that she didn't drop the title on purpose and that it happened accidentally. I wish I could sit here and tell you, I did it on purpose but if people need me to be that bad guy, I'll be that bad guy. Things happen on screen. I would never go on a scripted television show and purposely do something on purpose, said Flair. As of now, Big Time Bex believes that her friendship with the Queen could only be revived once the WWE careers of both stars have ended. She discussed her thoughts while speaking to Bleacher Report's Graham Matthews. I think there would be a lot that would need to be talked about and a lot that would need to be discussed, said Lynch. Honestly, I don't think we can be in this business anymore. I don't know that it can be repaired while we're both still wrestling. While speaking with Ariel Hawani, Charlotte Flair stated that she hopes to be friends with Becky Lynch again. She also described her happiness about Lynch becoming a mother. Yeah, absolutely. Seeing her as a mother, I'm so happy. Although the two allegedly aren't on talking terms right now, fans will hope the veterans settle their differences and reunite in the future. Huge bump in overnight ratings SmackDown. The 1,200th episode of WWE SmackDown reached new highs in terms of viewership and overnight ratings. This week's episode emanated from the Bell Center in Montreal, Canada. The show featured top stars of the blue brand, including Ronda Rousey, Drew McIntyre, and Roman Reigns. Canadian superstars Natalia and Sami Zayn were well-received and got huge pops from the fans. Spoiler TV has now reported that the blue brand garnered an average of 2.618 million viewers in overnight ratings. This is significantly higher than last week's average of 2.431 million. Hour 1 of the show drew 2.216 million people, while 2.392 million viewers tuned in during the second hour. The numbers had to be adjusted due to the show being preempted in several markets. The episode received a 0.5 rating in the 18 minutes 49 demographic and was the most watched show for the night on network television. This week's show started with Ronda Rousey marching out and asking to be reinstated. Adam Pearce rushed out with security and, after a brief scuffle, had her arrested. On their main roster debut, Toxic Attraction defeated the team of Sonya Deville and Natalia to advance to the semi-finals of the Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament. In another segment, the maximum male models were interrupted by Hit Row. The returning faction cleared the ring and gave a special performance to the fans. Madcap Moss, Happy Corbin, Ricochet, Sheamus, and Sami Zayn were in a fatal five-way to determine the next challenger for the Intercontinental Championship. The Celtic Warrior prevailed as he knocked Corbin off with a broke kick for the win. The Viking Raiders were in a segment 
next where they arranged a Viking funeral for the New Day. SmackDown Women's Champion Liv Morgan was in action against Shotzi. Despite her opponent targeting her injured arm, Morgan emerged victorious. However, she didn't get a chance to celebrate as Shayna Baszler ambushed Liv and laid her out with a stiff kick. Drew McIntyre and Roman Reigns came face to face in the ring in the final segment. The two men came to blows with the Scottish warrior setting up for the Claymore. However, Sami Zayn pushed the tribal chief out of the way and sacrificed himself in the process. Roman used the distraction to land a Superman punch but eventually fell victim to a massive Claymore kick. What did you think of the 1200th episode of SmackDown? Sound off in the comments below. Sami Zayn saves Roman Reigns. Sami Zayn came to the aid of Roman Reigns at the latest WWE Live event in Ottawa. Canada. The master strategist has been doing everything in his power to get on Roman Reigns' good side over the past several months. He made significant progress when he had a lengthy chat with the tribal chief on the latest edition of WWE SmackDown. WWE's latest live event emanated from Ottawa, Canada. The show was headlined by a huge triple threat match for the undisputed WWE Universal Champion. The bout pitted Reigns, Sheamus, and Drew McIntyre against each other. The contest was marred by interference from Butch and Ridge Holland. The duo attacked Reigns and McIntyre, but Sami Zayn came to Reigns' rescue before they could inflict more damage. He helped Reigns fend off the attackers, soon after which the tribal chief picked up a win to retain his undisputed WWE Universal title. Judging by what happened on the latest episode of WWE SmackDown, it looks like Reigns has begun appreciating Zayn more. To top it off, Reigns would be elated with Zayn coming to his rescue at the Ottawa Live event. Zayn has been trying to impress the bloodline, and his efforts are seemingly paying off now. Last year, Reigns spoke with Ariel Hawani of BT Sport and had massive praise for Zayn. One guy, he, I don't know how to get there without smacking the SH out of him but Sami Zayn is one of those guys that where you can't. He's like your neighbor, he doesn't scream superstar, WWE superstar. But there's something he has, like an intangible that you can't stop looking. He's one of those guys that's so talented that he, whatever it may be, it just needs a little more. If you can get Sami Zayn on TV more, that's a good thing, he said. It remains to be seen what Zayn does next in his quest to impress Reigns and the bloodline. It goes without saying that the master strategist's persistence hasn't gone unnoticed by the tribal team. Many fans believe that the angle is moving towards an eventual face turn for Zayn. It's been a long time since fans have seen a babyface Sami Zayn and he's bound to receive a big pop if he embraces the good side. What do you think? Will Roman Reigns eventually reward Zayn for his efforts towards impressing the bloodline? Brock Lesnar and Sable spotted together in rare public appearance. A picture featuring Brock Lesnar and Sable is currently making the rounds on the web. Renee Lesnar, also known as Sable, leads an incredibly private life, away from the hullabaloo of the pro wrestling industry. She left WWE for good in 2004, mere months after Lesnar left the company. A picture is currently making the rounds on social media, showing Lesnar and Sable hanging out with their friends. It's been a while since Sable made a public appearance, unlike Brock who is still one of the biggest superstars in all of WWE. Brock Lesnar met Sable while the duo were mainstays on WWE SmackDown during the height of the ruthless aggression. Sable made a return to WWE after WrestleMania XIX in 2003. She portrayed the role of a heel for the better part of her 2003-04 WWE run. Around the same time, Lesnar was the biggest superstar in all of WWE and was the top guy on the blue brand. Brock Lesnar left WWE immediately following his loss to Goldberg at WrestleMania 20 in Madison Square Garden. He married Sable on May 6, 2006. The loving couple have two sons together named Turk and Duke. Lesnar has rarely spoken about Sable in interviews but had nothing but praise for his wife in his book, Death Clutch. Here's a paragraph from Lesnar's book, in which he showers major praise on Sable. I hated it when Renette was on the road. There is a lot of testosterone in the business, and I was worried about what some jacka might do or say to her. But Renee is a remarkable woman, and she can take care of herself. She did finally leave WWE, but not because they were treating her wrong or anything like that. She didn't do it because they disrespected her. She left for me. My wife is an amazing woman. Sable did well for herself during her two WWE runs. She is a former WWE Women's Champion and is one of the most popular female stars in WWE history. WWE placed Sable at the number 16 spot in its list of the 50 greatest women superstars of all time. Were you a fan of Sable during her WWE run? Do you think she will ever get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame? Sami Zayn betrays Roman Reigns. Fans are excited over the possibility of a Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn reunion after the latter's WWE SmackDown segment with Roman Reigns. The former NXT champion has been making friends with the tribal chief in recent months and has been dubbed the honorary youth. On a recent episode of the Friday show, it looked like Reigns was testing Zayn's loyalty when he subtly set him up against Kevin Owens. After mentioning Sami's former tag team partner, fans 
fans wondered about the possibility of them reuniting. Some even believed the duo could dethrone the Usos for the undisputed tag team championship. Meanwhile, other fans enjoyed the relationship between Reigns and Zayn and wanted to see more interactions between them. Meanwhile, others wanted to see Sami turn face and take the championship away from the head of the table. A couple of fans praised the 38 years old for his entertaining performance. Sami Zayn competed in a fatal five-way match for the number one contender spot for the Intercontinental Championship. The end of the match saw Sheamus defeat the likes of Happy Corbin, Ricochet, Madcap Moss, and Zayn. The Irishman is now scheduled to face Gunther in Clash at the Castle. Despite not being paired for a long time, it seems like the prizefighter still wants to share a special moment with his longtime friend. In a recent interview, Owens revealed that he could see winning the tag team titles with Sammy. He added that it would mean a lot to them since they captured the titles everywhere they went except in WWE. There are a couple of guys I could see myself winning the tag team titles with. Obviously, Sami Zayn is at the top of the list. That would be the ultimate good moment for us to achieve that. We've been tag team champions everywhere we've went, except for WWE. Do you want to see Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn reunite and challenge for the Tag Team Championships? Share your thoughts in the comments below. From the heathens, got will, got fight, got pride, got reason. If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them. If